in this video i am going to show you how you can download and install google anti-gravity id on your computer so let's see how we can do this thing i'm going to show you this tutorial for mac computer but if you are interested for windows computer it's almost the same so at first we need to access this google anti-gravity site so we can easily go to google.com from any browser i'm going to use safari browser but it's fine if you are using any other browser and once google is open just start typing google once you start typing google and then you start typing a n t i once you start typing like this google will automatically suggest google anti-gravity just use this one and very shortly it will be opened like this type of search page from here we have to access this link anti-gravity.google this one we just need to click here and very shortly it will be opened like this as i'm using mac computer so i need to download the mac version but if you are using windows version then you can also download the same way but you have to download only the windows thing so there is a big button download and download for mac os i'm going to click here and very shortly it will be opened like this download google anti-gravity for mac os we have to scroll till we find the download option of this software so right now there are three versions uh, based on the operating system mac os windows linux and for each operating system there is a couple of versions of there so if you are using like apple silicon chip then you have to download this version otherwise if you are using intel then you need to download this version i'm using the apple silicon mac so i'm going to download this thing if you are not sure whether you are using apple silicon or intel you can easily find out that for that you just need to click this apple menu and then from here you have to click about this mac once you open about this mac you will find like this apple m4 it should be m1 m2 m3 m4 or m5 something like that so if there is like apple m that means you are using apple silicon chip so you just need to download this one otherwise you have to download this version so i'm going to click this version and very shortly as i'm using safari safari is asking whether i am sure to download it or not we have to press the allow so that it will start downloading and it's not a very big file it's quite a small file i will say like less than 200 megabyte probably so i'm not sure whether i think it is downloaded that's why it's not visible over there so let's open downloads folder i'm going to click the downloads and here i see this is the software and here it is showing 192.7 uh, that means almost 200 megabyte of size so this site we don't need i'm going to minimize it and then i'm going to double click over there to start the installation and very shortly it will be open like this so there is the software which is called anti-gravity this is developed by google and application and there is a small arrow that means we need to drag it and drop it inside here so i'm going to drag it and drop it inside this application folder and very shortly it will start the installation we will see over there and after the installation it will take almost 700 megabyte of size and here it is showing we are almost done like 5 to 10 seconds so basically within 30 seconds it will be installed now we can close this window because we don't need and we can also delete this file i'm going to remove it from my mac because we don't need we already installed it now i'm going to close this window now let's open the software that anti gravity id i'm going to click this spotlight search and very shortly it will be opened like this now from here we have to type anti gravity anti anti gravity and here we see anti gravity software is there so we just need to double click over there so that it will be open like this way and at the beginning when we will try to open this software on our mac it will give us this type of warning anti-gravity is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it we have to press open uh, by clicking this button we will be able to open and this is for the first time it will give you this type of information otherwise it will not give i'm going to press the open button and very shortly the software will be loaded but before loading completely it will ask you a couple of things like it is uh, telling us welcome to anti-gravity um, let's get you set up so we have to press the next and then here it is asking choose setup flow so there are two options one is fresh and other is import from vs code 
I'm going to choose this option, start fresh. And it is asking us to choose the theme. I'm going to choose that theme, but there are some other themes that are there, like Tokyo Night Light and Solar is Light. I'm going to choose Dark, and then I'm going to press Next button. And here it is showing how do you want to use anti-gravity agent. So there are four options out there: agent driven development, agent assisted development, review, custom and some other details are there. I'm going to choose this option, which is recommended. We can choose these options later if we need. Then I'm going to press the next button. Here I didn't change anything. Once I press the next button, it is asking, configure your editor. Configure your editor settings below. So key bindings, normal or beam. I'm using normal and some other things. Basically, I didn't install, uh, I didn't actually uh, change any of the thing and if you move our cursor over there it will show you which are pre-installed and which will be installed like python go java this will be installed so these are the extension basically there is a checkbox and command line install so yeah, it is showing like that i'm going to press the next and now it is asking us to sign in our google account so we must need to sign in otherwise there is no way we can go forward if we click next it is not working now we need to click this sign in with Google this button to sign in our Google account. Once I click over there, it will bring like this. And now it is asking the email and password for logging my account. Once I type the email, I'm going to press the next button. And then very shortly, I will type the password of my email. And then I'm going to press the next button. Now I will get on verification code on my mobile. I'm going to type the verification code over here. And then I'm going to press the next button. Once I press the next button, it will give us this type of warning. Would you like to allow other macOS application to run this Google account? Uh, we can use this thing. You can allow or disallow the use of the account later system setting this thing. So I'm going to choose not now. And then here I'm going to choose sign in. And very shortly it is asking, do you want to allow website to open anti-gravity? We have to press the allow button. And now we'll see this type of information agreement anti-gravity terms and use and there is a checkbox if you uncheck we uh, i think we cannot go basically uh, yes i agree to allow google to collect and this thing so it is showing the terms and condition page with a checkbox i'm going to uncheck this thing because i am not interested to share my personal information with google here it is mentioning yes i agree to allow google to collect and use my interaction data as defined like this so i'm going to uncheck this but if you are interested you can check this thing then I'm going to press the next button to complete the installation. And very shortly, we'll get a confirmation message, something like this. Anti-gravity will now prompt with uh, OSC script for administrator privilege to install the shell command. We have to press the OK button. And very shortly, it is asking us uh, the password of our Mac. So I'm going to type the password of my Mac. Once I type the password, then I'm going to press the OK button. And very shortly, we'll see some small changes are going there. Onboarding, installing extension. This may take a minute and some icons are coming or going. So we have to wait till it finished. Now, once everything is finished successfully, then we can open folder and this is the command prompt. We can type the command. We can also choose the model from here. And right now I'm using this thing, planning or fast this is the mode of conversation so there are two conversation at the beginning right now planning and first probably within few days you will see some other changes are coming and here you can choose one of the model so right now they have couple of models like six model so uh, gemini 3 pro high low sonnet 4.5 and gpt oss 120b medium i think this is the first generation or, or first time the open ai uh, when it released this is that version i am not sure why they add this information or added this model i have no idea and that's it in this way we can download and install anti-gravity anti-gravity and then after that we can create the folder and then we can use this mode this thing to start using this software to develop our own application or to update our application or to modify or fix the error of our application